Paul Graham, born the 13th of November 1964, is an English-born computer scientist, entrepreneur, venture capitalist, author, and essayist. He is best known for his work on Lisp, his former startup ViaWeb, later renamed Yahoo Store, co-founding the influential startup accelerator and seed capital firm Y Combinator, his blog, and Hacker News. He is the author of several programming books, such as, On Lisp 1993, ANSI Common Lisp 1995, and Hackers and Painters 2004. Technology journalist Stephen Levy has described Graham as a hacker philosopher. Topic Biography Topic Early Life Paul Graham grew up in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Topic Education Graham received a Bachelor of Arts in Philosophy from Cornell University 1986. He then attended Harvard University, earning Master of Science 1988 and Doctor of Philosophy 1990 degrees in Computer Science. He has also studied painting at the Rhode Island School of Design and at the Accademia di Belle Arti in Florence. Topic career In 1996, Graham and Robert Morris founded ViaWeb, the first application service provider ASP. ViaWeb's software, written mostly in Common Lisp, allowed users to make their own Internet stores. In the summer of 1998 ViaWeb was sold to Yahoo for 455,000 shares of Yahoo stock, valued at $49.6 million. After the acquisition, the product became Yahoo Store. He later gained fame for his essays, of which he posts to his personal website, paulgraham.com. Essay subjects range from Beating the Averages, which compares Lisp to other programming languages and introduced the hypothetical programming language blub, to Why Nerds Are Unpopular, a discussion of nerd life in high school. A collection of his essays has been published as Hackers and Painters by O'Reilly, which includes a discussion of the growth of ViaWeb and what Graham perceives to be the advantages of Lisp to program it. In 2001, Graham announced that he was working on a new dialect of Lisp named Arc. Over the years since, he has written several essays describing features or goals of the language, and some internal projects at Y Combinator have been written in ARC, most notably the Hacker News Web Forum and News Aggregator program. In 2005, after giving a talk at the Harvard Computer Society later published as How to Start a Startup, Graham along with Trevor Blackwell, Jessica Livingston and Robert Morris started Y Combinator to provide seed funding to a large number of startups, particularly those started by younger, more technically oriented founders. Y Combinator has now invested in more than 1,300 startups, including Justin.tv, Zobni, Dropbox, Airbnb and Stripe. Businessweek included Paul Graham in 2008 edition of its annual feature, The 25 Most Influential People on the Web. In 2008, Paul Graham married Jessica Livingston. In response to the proposed Stop Online Piracy Act, SOPA, Graham announced in late 2011 that no representatives of any company supporting it would be invited to Y Combinator's Demo Day events. Topic: Essays. Topic: Graham's hierarchy of disagreement. Graham proposed a disagreement hierarchy in a 2008 essay how to disagree putting types of argument into a seven point hierarchy and observing that if moving up the disagreement hierarchy makes people less mean that will make most of them happier graham also suggested that the hierarchy can be thought of as a pyramid as the highest forms of disagreement are rarer 
Following this hierarchy, Graham notes that articulate forms of name calling, e.g., the author is a self important dilettante, are no different from crude insults. The hierarchy resembles Friedrich Lahl's model of conflict escalation. Topic: The Blub Paradox. Graham considers the hierarchy of programming languages with the example of Blub, a hypothetically average language, right in the middle of the abstractness continuum. It is not the most powerful language, but it is more powerful than COBOL or machine language. It was used by Graham to illustrate a comparison, beyond Turing completeness, of programming language power, and more specifically to illustrate the difficulty of comparing a programming language one knows to one that one does not. Graham considers a hypothetical blub programmer. When the programmer looks down the power continuum, he considers the lower languages to be less powerful because they miss some feature that a blub programmer is used to. But when he looks up, he fails to realize that he is looking up, he merely sees weird languages with unnecessary features and assumes they are equivalent in power, but with other hairy stuff thrown in as well. When Graham considers the point of view of a programmer using a language higher than Blub, he describes that programmer as looking down on Blub and noting it's missing features from the point of view of the higher language. Graham describes this as the Blub paradox and concludes that, by induction, the only programmers in a position to see all the differences in power between the various languages are those who understand the most powerful one. The concept has been cited by writers such as Joel Spolsky. Topic. See also Anaphoric macro, first appeared in Paul Graham's On Lisp.